Hello friends, my name is Tessa Guthrie and today I'm sure that you guys have all been hearing about or seeing the show tidying up on Netflix and I'm totally joining in on that train. It's making me feel like super motivated to clean out my closet, like spring cleaning, you know. So it's starting to get warmer here but then um... Now this is happening, so that's fun. So you never know around here what kind of clothes you're gonna need, but I always wear the same four things, and yet I have all of these sitting here in my closet. So I've actually been pretty good about doing this throughout my life. Even like about two months ago, I think I did this the first round. I just got rid of a couple more things about two weeks ago, and I'm still going. I have I still have so much stuff that I literally don't need. It feels so good to just get rid of all of it. I highly recommend that you do it, and you should join on this train with me. Okay, so to preface this, I am just over five feet tall. I'm five one and a half, if you're being specific. Therefore, I haven't grown in a while, since sixth grade to be specific, when I was 11 years old. So, I have a couple of clothing items, a couple from grade school, and I have a plethora of items from early high school. Now, by the time you see this video, I will be 21 years old. I should not be dressing like my 15 year old self. I shouldn't, I need to move on. 15 year olds would love to buy my clothes. They should buy them and then I can buy early 20s year old clothes, okay? Like none of this is my style anymore. It was like that like boho like era and now I'm feeling like I want like street like street chic style and I don't like this style of clothes I wear is not my style whatsoever and I'm ready for it to be, okay? This is a new era <laughs> of my fashion, okay? I think the first thing they do is just dump everything out on the floor, right? Shoot, please excuse the socks and things. So we just have to dump everything on, oh my god, this is gonna be a nightmare. Also, I wanted to mention that I'm like, overall, a pretty anxious person and I get, I get very overwhelmed very easily. And getting rid of all of this stuff really helps like clear space in your mind. Just like journaling or writing things out create like can help create space that space in your mind too if your space your physical space is full your head space can't be clear either and then i like i've been really wanting to keep things more clean but when every surface is has stuff and stuff and stuff piled on it it's just like how am i supposed to clean my room do i have to like take apart my room every time i want to clean it it shouldn't be like that i just want to i can't maintain that you know, maybe when I'm older, I'll be able to, but at the moment that is not even close to feasible. <laughs> like, I don't know how people my age are getting all these like big like mansions and dude, like that's going to get so gross so fast. In a week, the whole house is going to be dusty. Are you, is Tana going to clean that? No. Is Shane going to clean that? No. Like, I don't, are all of their houses just like absolutely disgusting, but they're like huge and fancy. So no one cares. I don't know. They probably just have like cleaning people come in. But still though, I don't know, like if you have space, you're gonna fill it with stuff. Guys, I don't like seeing all of this on the floor. These are all just tops. Can you like, oh my God. I'm just looking at it in the viewfinder right now, just creepily on the side, but. In person, it's even crazier. I'm gonna have to go through my shoes too. Oh my God, speaking of, I have a deal for you guys. Stay tuned to get some super cute, cute, cute shoes for a good cause with a discount code. And the reason I'm not putting these on my bed like they do in the show is because our beds are lofted, so the bed is actually like the ceiling where the camera is right now. You guys want me to do a house tour, like an apartment tour? Would anybody watch that? I could do like a room tour, or I could just do like the full house, you know? We could just do the whole shebang. My yoga bag, I'd rather have these. Out. I have this tiara. That's just about all of it. Oh my god. That's actually crazy. Like, oh my god. So yeah, here's the lofted bed, if that makes sense. And then you go up the ladder and the bed's up there. Doors over there. Now I have all of this room underneath the bed for a desk and now all my music stuff. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna start like grabbing stuff and we're just gonna go. I don't have that much time here, man. We've got things to do. <laughs> This sweater I just kind of recently got. I don't wear it. I have the same sweater. I have the same sweater in the same color like a million times. Like you'll you'll see this color, bur burgundy, maroon, whatever you want to call it. 
I have so much of this color. I think this is good, would be a good one for Play-Doh's closet, actually. I feel like I could get like five bucks for that, ten bucks maybe. I don't, know. I don't know how much they actually offer you versus like the retail price. That would be interesting to probably look up, huh? This one, this is like a sweater, but it's also kind of a dress. It has a turtleneck that you can, it's really loose, so you can make it look kind of like a mock turtleneck. And then it's really long too. So if you wanted like the full turtleneck look, you could have that as well. And it has good like shape on the bottom, you know? I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's nice for like special occasions. So you just wear like black leggings and cute boots, put your hair in a bun and it's like, oh, she's fancy fancy as heck and I'm like yeah I am fancy as heck this sweater was like 20 bucks I think where was it from I don't know made in China sure it sounds great where do I put should I put keeps I'll just put keeps back in I have a long sleeve green crop top that I literally wear all the time and I like it it's cute this long flannel thing I feel like I need to let this go I got it from a thrift store it's a men's extra large I got it for like three bucks when I was a sophomore in high school. I need to let it go. Sophomore in high school, Tessa, we are letting you go. She's a new woman. This is a helpful tip for, <gasps> ow. I just like squeezed my foot in between the hangers and like stepped on it. If you're ever cleaning out your room or your closet and you're trying to put things into piles, put a sticky note like on the ground and then just like label your piles so you know where things are at. Plato's closet. And then I've got donate slash giveaway and I've actually actually have a couple of friends who are around the same size as me And I wonder if any of them are planning on doing this. We could do a little swip swap. That would be fun for now I'm not doing a keep pile. I'm just gonna put the keeps back in them in the closet so we can visually see where we're at too If I need to make a couple more sacrifices like Honestly these two items I could probably give away so if there's an if there's another item that could kind of replace whatever I'm using that item for we have to be willing to do that here okay so I work in a restaurant and I'm uh, I, <laughs> I kind of do everything so I have a lot of different like weird outfit needs for the uniforms for each of those positions and for hosting our uniform is all black so there's a, I have to have quite a bit of a variety of black things to wear because if you have to wear all black like five days a week you know, I probably don't need, I don't know. I wear like the same two outfits anyway, so I don't know, <sighs> whatever. These are a couple of black tops. I have this black, normal black crop top from Breast Plum. I really want to keep this. This black crop top <laughs> is a little bit different. This one's actually pretty fun though too because it's, it has this collar that's white and green and it's, you can kind of see what kind of fabric it is. <laughs> ASMR. Where did I get this, Forever 21? It's made in Cambodia but we're gonna have to, we might have to go back through this. Just because it's for work, I'm gonna keep those things because otherwise I honestly probably wouldn't need the second one. This black shirt is like, actually, I think it's meant to be a workout top. Yeah, it's cute, it's easy. Could probably find a replacement for it. It's for work though, I need like, cause I'm like, no, I wear that to work all the time, especially now that it's gonna start getting warmer. I'm only gonna be wearing like black t-shirts all the time. This one's nice because it has some like flower embroidery on it. A plain black American Eagle soft and sexy black shirt and it's long and it goes all the way down. This one I'm actually probably willing to give away as well. It was just like a fun music t-shirt. I thought it would be fun for like music school or whatever. I don't know. Now it just kind of seems a little not my style anymore. Now to the only shirts that I actually wear. American Eagle soft and sexy. This one. I wear it all the time. You've probably seen me wear this shirt in like like 10 videos already and I'm I have like three subscribers, so if that says anything. Another American Eagle, soft and sexy. This one's like a dark green color. I love this color so much. And whenever I find clothes this color, I snatch it so fast. Crop top, this one. And then like burgundy in this color, just this combination. I don't know, I'm here for it. And then I have this cute top. It's like, it's a very like summery, like, <laughs> cute. I'm not sure if I'll actually wear this. I'm gonna give myself a chance throughout the summer. Oh my god, no. You guys, I forgot to do something. Here. Okay, so my friend Annie taught me this. Shout out to you, Annie. Girl, what's up? I think she said that she was doing it now, or she learned it from her mom. I don't know, whatever, something like that. You turn all of your clothes hangers backwards, and then whenever you wear that item of clothing, when you put it back, 
put it back forward. And then at the end of the year, however long of a span of time you want to allot or allow yourself, whichever hangers are still turning, like with the hangers facing the other way, you haven't worn those in months. So you're probably not going to wear them. So you should get rid of them. You know, it's an interesting way to see like what you do actually wear. I need to be ruthless here. Oh, plain white v-neck shirt. I feel like that's an, that's a essential. Another black tank top work shirt, short sleeve with a little tie thing. I'm putting on my work shirts over here just because it's, I hate having to dig for it every time. I have this America tank top for the 4th of July. This is my give me a sec pile. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, this is just like a simple black cropped tank. Another give me a sec. This one. Yes, in the summer, this is like the only tank top that I wore all last year. So I'm assuming this summer, I'm probably gonna be wearing this as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and, I don't wanna keep walking back and forth. I'm just gonna stand right here. Oh my gosh, this top is so cute. Yes, I think it's my mom got it for me at Nordstrom and it's super, super cute. And it ties in the back like this and it has like these pretty red flowers all over. It's a gorgeous fabric. I love, 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 love that top. I have this top that's too big for me, so I tie it with a hair tie in the back. The fact that I do that means we're selling it. We're getting rid of it. Good job, self. Thanks, self. You're welcome, self. This shirt my boyfriend got for me along with the little sweat shorts from H&M. And then this shirt to match because the shorts are burgundy. So this thing is just a nice little wrap type of a situation. I just have the, have it tied right here. And I don't have really any wraps or anything quite like that. So until I find one that's better or cuter, I'll keep that one. This shirt I have never worn. I bought it. It's nice. It's cute. I've never worn it. So I probably won't, question mark. Probably won't. It's just like, I don't know. When I show too much skin, I'm like constantly thinking about it and I'm uncomfortable because it, it that like plummets here and then it goes up. I don't know. It's a lot. This shirt I wore once. I tried to wear it to work and they were like, that's not a splash of color. And I was like, darn it. So I think I'm just gonna sell it. I don't wear it otherwise, so. So these ones over here are just work clothes. These, this is all that I've kept so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's already 12, 12 items. How long is this video gonna be? Oh my, I have this dreamy tank top. It's cute, it's fun. I've had it since I was a sophomore in high school. I'm selling it. This blue tank top, I have worn the, the absolute poop out of this. Had it since I was a freshman in high school. Gonna try to sell it. <gasps> Green velvet bodysuit. Yes, yes, yes. We're keeping it. She's new. Welcome, sis. This shirt from Wet Seal is actually, it's like super cute. Hold on. So I have these two that are very similar. I think this one's gonna have to take the win though. Yeah, this tank is I, I, like, I actually, I wear it and it's super cute. This one I haven't worn in a while. So these, got these little crop tops from Forever 21. I have this one, which I actually do really like to wear in the summer. This one's really cute and fun. Cute and fresh and fun and flavorful. And then we have this one which makes me nip, but I wonder if I do like the band-aids. I'll give her a shot. You can stay for the summer. And then this one I've worn before. I know she works. She's great. Same cropped shirts. Cause then you can like, you can like layer it with a lot of different things. And this one is from Forever 21 and it's super, super fun. I love this like velvet thing. I really want to make it happen. So this red tank top and the shade of red that this is, is so beyond gorgeous to me. I just really like this color. So I'm going to keep it. This one piece is super cute. I've taken multiple like photos with this tank top. It's super cute. This one, I'm not going to wear it. It's not going to happen. I've worn it like once. It's like the same as the shirt except the cut's weird and I'm not going to wear it. This one is just like a good like summer work workout tank it's gray and then the back is open like it's like completely open pretty much and it has this tie here so if you're wearing a sports bra it just has the back open so you can like so you're not so sweaty and stuff the summer's coming up so i'm not quite sure what i'm actually going to be wearing this summer but we'll have to wait and see and then this top is like a sweater tank it's nice for when it's like kind of cold because you can wear this with like a jacket and it's like a little vest it'll keep you warm you know this one i haven't worn in a while i'm not probably gonna end up wearing it so i'm just gonna give away oh my god what did i sign up for 
Yes, I'm ready to get rid of this. This one, it's super cute and it's super fun, but it's just like, I need a black crop top to be able to wear this and like higher pants and I don't know, I just can't, it's too much and I can't do it. This shirt, the V plunges in a weird way that your bra doesn't fit. So your bra peeks out every time. Not wearing it. Ooh, this sweater just got it off Zaffle, keeping it super cool, super fun and fresh, wear it to work. And then everyone calls me like a poet. Or something I'm like yeah pretty much am i smarter now that i'm wearing this fancy sweater that i got for seven dollars <laughs> these are also ones that i just recently got off zaffle romley i think it was zaffle this tank top or oh my god crop top long sleeve it has like kind of like bunches together here at the front which is i think is kind of fun it works and then also this one which you've probably seen me wear in a couple videos already this one's fun i just really like how you like unique and fun the colors are and like i don't know it's cool wow that's so cool these pants i literally wore last night they're like you know like flowy pants flowy black pants that kind of come together a little bit at the bottom it has pockets you know all of the good stuff oh i want to get more pants i have these pants they're navy blue i don't know if you can tell that they're navy blue and they have gold accents like the pocket are gold the ends of these are gold and they're super comfy and super soft i got them at ross for probably not even that much money because it was ross this romper okay here's the thing super cute great has the little you know these <laughs> has the little like choker thing here it's great it's just like my torso is so small and every time i wear it i'm like readjusting it the whole time i should probably sell it i'm going to this dress it's fancy it's cute i wore it my junior year of high school when i was in jazz choir shout out to any of you jazz choir folks who are watching me i have a lot of black dresses because i was wearing them a lot for work then i started instead of walking to work i've been riding my bike and you can't ride your bike in a dress and i don't want to get changed a million times a day i hate that so i haven't been wearing like any of these i'm like oh i will in the summer like in the summer you're not gonna bike in a dress either so no here's just a couple of them so we have this one that needs to be washed it's really cute it has like these little little frillies and it has a little tie i don't know if I'm gonna wear it though, but I'll just maybe it. Cause I've worn it a lot for work. I just don't know if I'm gonna be wearing it for work anymore. This one's really nice. It's like heavyweight, long, just normal black flowy dress. You know, another maybe. I don't know which one of these dresses I'm gonna keep. This one's fun. It has like little, the little, little lines there. I really like this one. I think I kind of want to keep this one. Oh my God, yes. This dress, this is the only maxi dress I think I've ever like actually owned. It's like long and it's, purple oh no ew that's a pistachio Juan was eating nuts in here and he left his nuts Ugh, no but the, the top and front is like this it makes your uh chi chis look very nice and especially for those like me who don't have much of chi chis and like to do you know like a, if if i can get a little bit of help I, it's fine you know i usually just fold this up like this and hook it in here because I don't like it dragging on the ground. And I'm going to Cabo San Lucas for spring break this year. So you guys are gonna see some fun travel and beach content. <laughs> and I'd love to bring that dress. This jacket, the classic green jacket for anyone who likes fashion pretty much. This leather jacket, so it's pretty nice. You just can't really wear it like open. You have to have it like zipped and with the tie on and it's kind of i don't really i don't wear leather jackets i should sell it oh my god wow this one i've, I've held on to this one for a long time this romper super cute i want to get a romper like that but that's cuter let's move on this one i just got from a thrift store i think and this is one of those ones from um it looks like one from Ur like the ones from urban outfitters but guys i got this for like seven dollars and i was like excuse me so I think it's super cute and fun and fresh and that I'll totally be able to wear it this summer. So this dress is fun. I really like t-shirt dresses because then look, I just wear this with white sneakers and I have an outfit. Super nice, super fun. This one's pretty relatively new. I like having one like, I don't need that many floral dresses, but like a floral dress is nice to have. This one is like the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one because I have a t-shirt dress and I have a dress in this color and this shape already. So it's only fair. And I've had this one longer. And I've worn it lots. So it, thank you. You may leave now. Next. <laughs> That's the joke I should have made. Wow, I'm so funny and so original. Like, nobody's, nobody's even made that joke yet. 
this navy blue dress that has a little a little choker collar here i got from rue 21 for five dollars and it's so cute and i wear it all i in the summer i wear it a lot this one i got this from a thrift store and i thought it'd be fun if you could just put like a white crop top under it this could be like a cute little fashion thing it has pockets i sewed the buttons so that it would that it would fit me we've got a little bit of see this is where the button was and I sewed the button up here. <laughs> this black sweater, as you can see, has obviously seen some better days. But um, I wear it to work constantly. So I'm going to make the call to keep that one. This dress is super cute. I've had it for a really long time, but I actually really like it. I actually think I only got it like freshman year of college, which is fine. It's not that having clothes for a really long time is necessarily bad. It's just like when you were 15, it might be, you know, like... Maybe I should start getting some just more like staples instead of like fast fashion that I bought when I was 15 that I still for some reason think is cute. So my stepmom gave me this sweater. She got it from her Stitch Fix and just hasn't really worn it. I wore it once and it's actually really comfortable and it's cute and it's fine. I just feel like I have a lot, a lot of sweaters and I'm gonna need to get rid of some. She was about to get rid of it and I took it out of her get rid of pile. So hopefully she won't be offended. Sorry, Megan. I love you. Thank you for your sweater. It has done me well. I've actually worn it a couple times, but she just gave me a bunch of new sweaters for Christmas. So now I have too many sweaters. It's her fault. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that. I've had this one for a while. It's it's cute and it's fun, but it's just like hard to wear and I feel like I can't like move freely, which is important to me. This American Eagle dress. It's, a win it's another winter dress. It's cute. It's fun. I told you everything's that color and, and green and that's it. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, this is so long. This dress. I honestly don't really like that much. I didn't. I can think of a lot cuter dresses. This one's really cute. It's pretty new. It's really comfy and it fits. Why do I keep doing that? And it fits really well, so it's okay. Everything is great, 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 great. Guys, we are making some serious progress here. Okay, got this shirt that I just got off of Zaffle, I think, from that same order. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I wore it for Thanksgiving and it was super cute and it worked. This sweater had a huge rip in the arm and I sewed it back together and I just recently wore this. So I know it's something that I actually do wear. Unfortunately, we're keeping it. This shirt, I'm definitely keeping. I know it's the same color. I know. It just like, ugh, the pit stains. It's clean though. It's clean. It smells so good. No, but like having a long sleeve shirt to wear underneath clothes in the winter Winter, like a tight shirt is so essential for me because I'm a cold cold person yeah. I even use that shirt skiing sometimes as like my first layer so I feel like it might be a little more essential than I'm thinking this one's kind of like a trendy one but it's actually it's pretty cute photographs well if I can get like I should need like higher waisted pants and shorts so I can wear these crop tops without like my entire body hanging out <sighs> you guys I don't want to do this anymore That's, I'm so glad I'm getting rid of, rid of all this this shirt from forever 21 it's cute it's fun but i can't wear it i never actually wear it because i can never find something to wear it with this shirt i've had for a long time it served me well this one i got from zaffle recently really like it really keeping it <sighs> this flannel i've had since probably like eighth grade i'm getting rid of it this is all we have left another flannel okay i got rid of my other two flannels so i need one and if i'm gonna keep in any one of them it's this one i've had this shirt for a long time it's super cute actually and i'd honestly be fine keeping it but i know i need to get rid of some things oh my god funny story so i went to catholic school my whole life so there was a uniform in grade school and then in high school there was just a, dre a pretty strict dress code i wouldn't say it was as strict as a lot of other schools no <laughs> but it was pretty strict like i like this little paneling like comes up to like it would maybe look like this with lace over it like that's how much skin was showing and I almost got in trouble for my teacher for having too much skin like in front of the whole class like it was it was a horrifying experience and I was like oh my god I'm a slut <laughs> look at my clothes oh yay my stepsister the one who got slime in her hair on Christmas Eve that was on Christmas Eve guys we thought we were gonna have to shave her head on Christmas Eve like, it was so horrifying. If you haven't seen that video, watch it. She got me this, um, oh, she sprayed, per she sprayed perfume on it. It smells so good. It has these little buttons. It'll be good for work in the summer if I'm wearing, if I can just, like, slip this on over. Okay, this sweater is great. It's long, and it's so warm, and it's fantastic. But I have, like, a ton of these, so I'm gonna have to let that go. Gray cardigan, essential. My friend... Allie gave me this sweater in high school. I don't know. I feel like I wear it pretty often. Yeah. It's the only gray. I have a gray sweater in the wash. I have stuff in the wash. That's where, oh. There's a couple things that I'm missing, but those things I obviously 
I'm wearing those pretty much in rotation because they're in the wash. So those probably won't get, I won't get rid of either. We'll just keep that for now. This long gray sweater, this is like a newer, a newer long sweater. I can keep that. This green long sleeve hoodie sweater is like my favorite thing ever. Again, leggings and boots and then you're done. Bada bing, bada boom, cute. Another shirt from that Zaffle haul. I really wish I would have done a haul when I got that stuff. I just opened it and wore all of it right away. But um, you can probably see me wear this shirt in my videos too. It has like the little ruffles like from when you were a kid when all your clothes had the little ruffles at the bottom. Some buttons, cool stripes, cool colors. This one is like a same sort of thing. I just wanted like long sleeve t-shirts that I could wear with jeans that I wasn't like horrified about. This shirt from American Eagle it's like one of the soft and sexy ones. Had it for a long time. It has served its purpose. I've worn it so much. This sweater I just got for Christmas, so I'm gonna keep this one. It's a Reebok one and it has this really cool like shoulder detailing that I'm really obsessed with. Green and blue. This shirt I've also had for a super long time and it has served its purpose. This shirt I've only gotten to wear like once or twice. I'm probably gonna bring it to Cabo, so I like this one. And this one's just really hard to wear because the whole front is open. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, toss that into the giveaway pile. This dress, the only reason I keep it is because it shows off my figure really nice and it makes me it, like makes my body look good. But I feel like I could get one like like a dress that's bodycon and has a little cinch or whatever the fuck or whatever I want to do. It's cuter. This is also really cute. It's just like some flip flops and sunnies. I don't know. I'll keep it. I think I wear it a lot. I really do. I wear it a lot and it brings me joy. You know, that's what this is all kind of about, right? This is just a long sleeve black t-shirt that I wear to work all the time. Black cardigan that's long. I have another black cardigan that I wear. I don't wear this one because it's weird. Selling it. Black high tops. I need black high tops, but these ones, uh, the entire bottom of the shoe is not even there. It just ripped out on that one. One of them's like shoved in the toe part somewhere, And but I need, I feel like I need a replacement shoe. Cause I still wear these, you know what I mean? Like all the time. Cause you know when low shoes, they like rub against the back of your feet and like make, give your ankles the blisters. And then when you're, while you're healing from the blisters, you wear high tops so then your ankles don't rub. I have these Sperry's that are white and they have this like navy blue accent on the back. They're super nice, but they also do that thing where they like, you know, cut my ankles. Like, um, that's a blood stain right there. <laughs> and I just got a brand new pair of white sneakers. Yeah, I just got these new like white, white, they look like Vans. I got them from Bangs Shoes. I'm an ambassador for them. I have a discount code for you guys. If you type in this discount code right here, you can get your shoes at a discounted price. Courtesy of me. You're welcome. They donate a um, percent of their proceeds to entrepreneurs who are trying to create new things, build new projects, and make the world a better place. And they invest in those people, which I think is pretty cool. So if you guys want to get shoes for a cause that are the cutest shoes ever, do it. I have another pair too. Okay, so these are the shoes that I got. These are my favorite. I think these are like the Rocky Mountain ones. This is bangs right here. And it also says it on here in this little leather patch, which I think is super cool. The laces are so fun and they're durable. They sell more of them on the website if you just like the laces and you want good laces. They sell those. They have like stickers and hats and shirts and stuff like that too. Check out their Instagram. Follow them on Instagram. You can become an ambassador yourself. I just joined like a month ago. Not even, so it's gonna be super, super a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm a size six and a half and these fit like a six and a half, you know. The quality's good. I've seen a lot, some photos of some people where like, where they wear them like this too. Where you just like, oh my God, I'm so excited. You can like, I don't know how they did it, like cute. But see the inside is like striped and you can wear it or like fold it over and you can wear them as low tops but they have like the stripe detail on them. It's fun. Yeah, so type in my discount code and go on to Bangs and get yourself some new shoes. They're not sponsoring this video or anything. I'm a like Instagram ambassador for them. So like I get discounted off some of their stuff and I get to post about it on the internet. So these shoes I've had for a really long time. I got them from Brass Plum. They used to be like super cute and whatever. I don't, I can't wear them anymore. They're, they hurt my feet like a lot and I don't wanna deal with that anymore. These are just like really loose kind of flimsy shoes that I can just throw on really easily. Kind of beachy. I don't really have another pair of sneakers like that so I'm gonna keep those. I have these Toms that I never wear. I'll get rid of those. Can you give like dirty old worn shoes to places like Plato's Closet? Like 
Or can you even goodwill that? I mean, yeah, they're like intact and they're like they're gonna, not gonna like fall apart anytime soon or anything like that, but I don't know. I still can't decide what to do with these berries. I have these boots, super cute, super fun, keeping them. These sandals that I've had since the seventh grade, I still get compliments on them, which is kind of, which is always hilarious to me because I'm like, oh, these are just the only brown sandals that I have, but thank you. I have some flats that I got for work and I don't really wear flats. Neither of them are non-stick either. Which one of these is like the, which one of these is the nice quality ones? I can't really tell. Oh, these ones have grip. I've got my Nike slides and my New Balance slides. I really like the look of these ones. They're like kind of rose gold over the top. And then these have like grip on your feet. So it's really nice in the summer, like when you're out like on the lake and stuff. I have a pair of black flats that that like fold up and fit into this little bag which i think is like super like nice and handy and i have these black sandals that are like obviously like special occasion they have these like these pearls all around the back they're steve madden that's fun they're these are like these are all items that i've had for a while like if i was out shopping i wouldn't buy myself steve madden sandals you know what i mean like these were all gifted to me or pretty much yes they were all gifted to me like things that i received throughout my life and all of the like like american eagle like cha-ching level and down is the things that I probably have purchased. Anything above that was given to me. Like, wow, look how much room I made. You guys. Okay, oh my God, I wanna like show you this. So this is the massive pile that I have of stuff that I'm gonna try to sell. And most of it seems like pretty sellable, you guys. I'm gonna try. This is the only one that ended up in the giveaway pile that that um, old man flannel from Goodwill. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna have to keep my shoes. I have a couple more, I have a couple more pairs of shoes, but I just have one, just about like one of everything, every like type of thing that I need at the moment. As soon as the winter is over, I'll probably be able to get rid of a lot more things because now that everything's flipped backwards, as soon as it turns into summer and it's hot, any of the winter things that I didn't wear from um, now January until like June if I haven't worn it in that amount of time like I'm not going to and I need to accept that and just give it away because I can get some more stuff I just want it to be stuff that I'm like that I like and that I'm using and it's not just like oh my god this is so cute I need it and then you put it in your closet and you're like yes I have it this is great and then you don't use it like that's not I don't know that's not the kind of feeling I want to be chasing anymore I'm sick of spending money on stuff that I don't need like it's taking up space and making me anxious and why would I do that to myself? So anyway, I really hope you guys liked this video. This is the results. We have a couple of work shirts over here. Seven work shirts. Plus a couple more that are in the wash, which we're not going to talk about that. Let's see. About this many hangers worth of tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, sweaters, rompers, dresses, and jackets. All together and this is all that I have if you include that plus um you know I have a couple things in the wash I have a couple like coats and sweatshirts like hanging up around the house or whatever overall that's pretty much it and I'm get I'm gonna go through my drawers my drawers are a whole different journey I'll do that video if you guys like this and you want to see that video please let me know because if you guys don't want to watch that I won't film it so I'll film something else what do you want to see instead if you don't want to see that please let me know in the comments down below and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content at all. If you want to see anything new from me, it really helps out my channel a lot. Like this video, show it to a friend. Most importantly, try this out yourself. I want you guys to try and like see how it feels to like get all that stuff out of your house. And I'm, I want to like, oh my god, I can literally just get like a giant garbage bag and put all of this stuff in there all at once and then just be like, take it. I'm excited to see if I get any money from it too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, thank you so much. And 